Hi, I'm Evan Pantasi. Welcome back to another installment on Kyusho. Uh, you know, Kyusho is just a Japanese word that means vital point, vital target, vital structure. It's uh, the vital aspects of our, our life and our uh, anatomy, and physiology, and functionality. There's a lot of other terms uh, from China, Demak, Dimsu, uh, you name it, there's a lot of different ones. And there's even one that goes back further than China, and it's called Marma. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that uh, the Kyusho, or Demak, or whatever you, you want to call it, is uh, based on pressure points. And because of that, they believe that the Demak and the Kyusho was invented in China. And it, it really wasn't. Uh, the, the story was a long time ago that Cheng Seng Feng invented the acupuncture um, uh, model and worked it into the Chai Chi. But you know, it goes back further than that. It goes back way into ancient India with the, the Marma, as I stated before, and writings that they had the, um, the thunder hand or the thunderbolt hand or the lightning bolt hand, many different concepts and uh, translations of that. Now that I can only liken to um, a shock on the neurological system, and that makes you feel like you got hit by electricity or a bolt of lightning, or uh, it was so powerful that you, it was like a clap of thunder shocked the heck out of you. So um, again, don't get so, so caught up into the terminology and what Kyusho is and what it isn't, and which um, culture uh, used the word or which culture uh, really propagated it. We're trying to keep this, uh, this tradition alive and continuing. There's a problem, there's a lot of um, bullshito, or as they say, uh, happening, and it's happening in the, um, the Kyusho market just as any other market. I mean, you've got the, the shams going on just as long as, you, as much as you've got the legitimate people going on. And one of the things you really need to look at when you're trying to discern what's real, what's not real, is right off the bat look to see if they're um, they look like a beginner doing the technique uh, so many of these so-called masters of Kyusho or Demak or whatever they are um, they, they they're throwing strikes and they're, they're pointing out points and things like this and they're they're not really doing them or if they do do them they don't really look clean at doing them no experience there and it's it's clearly evident look at that from a martial standpoint on what their technique looks like uh, Another thing that you want to take a, a look at is um, when they claim that they're doing Kyusho or they teach Kyusho and then they give out targets like the eyes or the groin or the ears. Now sure, that's, that's all part of it, but um, if you really want a deeper understanding than that superficial stuff that we all know, you poke someone in the eye, it hurts, you hit someone in the crotch, it hurts. So um, that's, to call it Kyusho is uh, doing a disservice to the martial arts and the traditions that the, the founders of uh, many um, Japanese Okinawan styles uh, base this on. Uh, and again, that goes back to the ancient Bubishi, which is a Chinese text. But where did that person get that from? Uh, we have to delve back further. Uh, and maybe it goes back to ancient India. Maybe it goes back even further. There was a guy that was um, found in the uh, Italian Alps, okay, the 5,000-year-old guy, and I forget what his name was, uh, but they found um, uh, many things like bronze axe before the Bronze Age. Um, that was one. They found herbs in a pouch that matched the, the, the problem he had with his stomach. He had all his hair intact, his clothing intact, and everything like that. Uh, and on his back, there were um, actually acupuncture uh, points, uh, like tattooed, they thought. And then they investigated further, and it looks like it was charcoal uh, left from a burning stick. But it was on the, the, um, the acupressure points or acupuncture points that someone with that stomach uh, problem might have uh, needed. Okay, so you go back and you start looking, okay, this guy was 5,000 years old and the, um, the bronze man's only goes back a couple thousand. In the acupuncture uh, the theories of China, only go back a couple thousand. You really got to wonder, okay, which came first? So again, don't get caught up in the terminology. Uh, there's other things uh, when you're looking for real Kyusho in um, the, the, you know, eh, I don't know, beginner Kyusho, I'll call it. Uh, someone trying to get on the bandwagon and just using the name of Kyusho to, to make their, um, their style better or their reputation better, whatever it is. Um, and that's they never demonstrate the techniques. They never drop anybody with it. You, they just say, okay, you hit them here. Like there's uh, one person out there claiming to, to hit a triangle in the face to drop the person. And you see boxers do it all the time. Well, you know, if you see boxers do it incorrectly all the time, they still hit that area. 
every time they punch and the person doesn't go down. It's the way you do it, okay? So there's a little bit more to it than just mapping out a triangle on the, on the person's face. But then not to even demonstrate um, what it does, um, that's where you get into wondering, okay, can the person do it? If they ever claim it's too dangerous to do, they absolutely don't know what it, what it is or how to do it. As a matter of fact, I went to a seminar a long time ago in my career, and I knew the Q show back then. And um, uh, the person knew me as I first walked into the seminar. He was, he was doing a pressure point seminar. I just wanted to go and see what he was doing. Um, and the first thing he starts off with is this is the most dangerous point on the human body. Don't ever hit it. And he stood up Anuki and then hammer fisted him. It was on top of the head. It was the Bahoy point that, um, of acupressure or actual acupuncture. And uh, he hammer fisted it. And everybody in the audience, their jaw dropped and they're, oh, wow. And, but the guy didn't fall down. And I'm sitting there looking around at these people, and they must have been a part of a, like a cult like uh, mentality there. But they're looking around in utter amazement at this guy and his claims, and uh, now they knew the secret of the martial arts. Well, he commenced to hit the guy two more times in the head, and the guy didn't fall once. Which means to me that the, the pressure point that he was claiming was fatal and deadly and all this kind of stuff wasn't. Okay, and the fact that he couldn't even make the person um, drop to the ground means that he didn't know the cue show correctly. All right, first sign that you're on a cue show target uh, correctly is the knees give out. And I've explained that in many different um, uh, uh, videos before. The knees are the first things that give out, the eyes blink. There's many different um, body uh, dysfunctions or shocks or tremors that they, they go through to see that there's actually a neurological or blood type of uh, an attack being performed on the person's uh, anatomy. And uh, the body's trying to cope with that invasion, that shock of the system. Uh, whether it's blood or whether it's nerve, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's going to be a sign that it worked. Even on a light touch uh, type of an idea where you're activating something, you know, not light just to touch the person, they fall down but deep enough to, to, uh, to get the effect or an effect, a stimulation of whatever system you're on without um, dropping the person, okay? The next stage would be the knees buckling. The stage after that would be them uh, falling to the floor because their body can't support their weight because the nerves are um, overstimulated and sending too much somatic inf or uh, sensory action to the brain that no uh, motor function can go down to the limbs. Um, and in the blood, it's just the blood pressure dropping the person because the body's trying to seek equilibrium of the blood pressure. So again, look at the people that make all these claims of, yeah, you hit them here and they'll fall down. This is the Q show, but don't demonstrate, all right? And then you got other people that are just not even um, touching the person. They just um, pull the punches, okay? If you're trying to pop a a punch like a karate punch where you, you shoot it toward the person and then you quickly withdraw it well I'm sorry to say your Q-Show isn't gonna work and um, obviously you don't know Q-Show and I've seen a lot of those videos there's even a website I'm gonna put the link in down below too so you can read some of the, the horseshit that's uh, on some of these sites out there but then you go through the um, uh, YouTube and you'll see a ton more so anyway I just uh, went off on a rant there uh, again Q show is just a term. It's just a word. I like it. It's short. It's kind of snappy. It's got good uh, marketing abilities. And um, uh, it, it's just been around for a long period of time. And it's mentioned in so many books from, uh, or so many manuals like Fujita. It, it actually has the kanji of Q show. And uh, so do many other texts out there. So again, Q show is Dimak, is Dimsu. Uh, it's all together the same thing and just be cautious out there because there's a lot of crap and there's a lot of people trying to market that they do the Q show just to make them their reputation a little bigger but um, they don't even demonstrate it. they can't okay uh, maybe they're scared that they can't revive the guy uh, who knows alright maybe they did it accidentally and then claim to know the Q show or maybe they copied a couple video tapes on YouTube or something like that and claim to know it but again if they don't demonstrate they only talking, okay? Some people talk the talk, some people walk the walk. You decide what you want for your Q-Show education. Thanks for watching.